what is up guys today I will show you how to download and install Windows 10 on a Mac uh, this one in particular is a MacBook Air the 2015 model alright step number one of the whole process is that we need to download the Windows 10 installation files uh, for this you need to go to the Microsoft's website and download the Windows installation file uh, there are two ways to do this uh, unfortunately if I go to this website on a Mac it shows that I should use a Windows PC you can see here for optimal download experience we recommend using media creation tool on a Windows PC so it's good if you have an access to a Windows PC otherwise I'll show you how to download it on a Mac itself so first off let me show you how to use the media creation tool on a computer uh, on a Windows PC to be exact so just scroll down on this website I'll put the link down in the description and click on download now once the download completes just run the media creation tool just click on accept then select the second option which says create installation media for another PC and click next again uh, we are downloading Windows 10, the 64-bit edition. Make sure you're downloading 64-bit because this Mac supports only 64-bit. So 64-bit edition. That's right. When we are downloading Windows 10, not the Home Edition, Windows 10 Pro, English United States, and click Next. Then select ISO file because we need to create an ISO file because bootcamp works with the ISO file now select the save folder I'll be saving it onto my desktop and click save I already have it downloaded here so uh, just click save and that's it and now we wait for the program to download Windows 10 installation files so once the download finishes uh, just copy the installation files onto a USB drive and copy it onto the desktop of your Mac you can see I already have it copied over here and if you don't have access to a Windows based PC you can always download the installation files directly on a Macintosh so to do that go to this website I'll link I'll put the link down in the description you need to go to this website the same website that I showed you on the on my Windows computer so just tap on close select your edition we are downloading Windows 10 tap on confirm choose your language we're going to choose English international then again click on confirm and then download the 64-bit edition there we go it's downloading and wait for the installation file to download then uh, once the installation file has finished downloading uh, just copy it onto your desktop alright on to the next part we are going to now partition the hard drive and install Windows 10 uh, you guys can see I placed the Windows 10 ISO aka the Windows installation files right onto the desktop of my Mac so now just launch the spotlight search and search for bootcamp assistant uh, almost every Macs have bootcamp system pre-installed click on continue now partition the drive as you please uh, I'm going to give Windows around 58 gigabytes uh, which is the maximum I can give on this Mac uh, because the OS 10 is OS X is already using some uh, space here now choose the ISO file it's on my desktop so I'm going to tap on desktop and here is the Windows 10 ISO click on open and click install alright so it's asking for the password it's enter your password and tap on add helper and now it's going to download some Windows 10 support software and make sure you're connected to the internet and let the Mac do its thing it 
So this is going to take a while. You can see it's already showing 60 minutes. Okay, so the Mac is restarting now and we should boot into Windows Setup and I'd, I'll guide you through the different steps on how to successfully install Windows 10 on your Mac. Alright, just leave the default settings which is English United States over here. Uh, if, you wanna, if you live in a different country you might want to change it but I'll leave it to English United States. Let's click Next. We don't have a product key at the moment, but I highly recommend that you buy a product key from Microsoft, and you can also do this later in Windows settings. Uh, I do have a genuine Windows 10 professional product key, so I'm going to activate this thing later. So right now, I'll click, I don't have a product key, but if you do have a Windows 10 legitimate product key, enter it here and just click next. Otherwise, click on I don't have a product key. Let me just zoom in and... And now we're going to select the correct edition. Uh, if you have purchased the product key of Windows 10 Home, select Windows 10 Home. Otherwise, we'll continue installing Windows 10 Professional. I have a product key of Windows 10 Professional, so Windows 10 Professional. Then click Next. click I accept the license terms then again next now the partition uh, in which Windows needs to be installed is called boot camp so this is the partition number 5 and you can see we cannot install Windows on it because it's not formatted so first I'm gonna do is format this just format the boot camp partition don't touch any other partitions or your Mac will not start up. So just format the bootcamp one and we're gonna click next. And now Windows will begin installing. Alright, we're going to go to the basic settings of setting up Windows. Uh, you can just use the Express settings, uh, but I'd like to customize it. So here we go. You see, these are just little privacy settings that I like to customize. Okay, type in a username. I'm gonna type I'm gonna type MacBook Air. You can type your own name by the way. I'm not gonna type it type in a password at the moment. Uh, I don't need it. Just type click next. As you can see, uh, we're on the Windows desktop now, and it's asking me to install the bootcamp software. And we're gonna install that now. Just click next. Next. 
accept the license agreement guys this is important you need to install the bootcamp support software on windows also without this you won't be able to boot into mac os and what this does is this installs the drivers for windows ok so we're gonna let it run stuck it shows real tech audio but nothing seems to be happening let me just zoom in oh that's a bummer okay guys so if your mac gets stuck while installing the real tech audio in windows 10 uh, there's a simple and easy solution for this problem uh, all you need to do is open the windows task manager but unfortunately the right click does not work because the drivers aren't really installed at the moment so all you need to do is go to the start menu open this and search for task manager there we go and then click on details and let me just zoom in so you guys can see uh, click on details and find realtek setup this one the realtek setup.exe and then select this then click on end task then end process that's it and the apple uh, bootcamp installer will continue And that's it guys, that's all you need to do to run Windows 10 on your Mac. So thank you guys for watching this video and I hope that I've been able to help you out uh, with the installation of Windows on your Mac. Uh, if you have any questions, do feel free to ask me uh, in the comment section below and I'll be more than happy to answer you guys. See you guys later.